Okay, this is this is King Richard the First, also known as Wizard. The Wizard. <laughs> what where did you get that name? From uh, doing magic for about the last sixty years. How come you missed the Maid Marian pageant? How come I missed the Maid Marian pageant? I was out doing uh, clowning at uh, the uh, uh, Portland uh, Circus. Who sponsored that? The Shrine. Oh, I see. The Shriners? Mm -hmm. I'm a Shriner also. Oh, I see. Remember the Cater Clowns. You could, what is that called? Cater Clowns. Cater. Oh, Al Cater? Al Cater. Okay. Well, one of our town fathers belonged. He, he donated his hat to us, to our museum. That red fez. Yeah. So you're part of that. Yep. And you, are, you could do a trick right now, but I won't ask you to. I've seen you do card tricks and things. I do card tricks, or band tricks, necklace tricks, it doesn't matter. Well, tell me how long have you lived, you and your wife Alice have lived in Sherwood for, since the 1960s? Yeah, about 40, 42 or 43 years. When I first came back to Sherwood, it was early 1970s, you were on the town council? Yep. That's where I first saw you. There was quite a controversy. The first meeting I went to, there was a fellow named Gilbert from the from the DEQ, and you guys, he was really ha in a shout match with you guys. What was that meeting about? Honest to God, I don't remember. It has something to do with, uh, I recall it, it was almost like it was such an unusual event for me at the time, but you were talking about Frontier Leather, and he was... Uh, laying out about uh, the pollution that was caused by that leather company and you were and the problem was is he wanted you to hook up to the unified sewerage agency yeah well it was quite a while after that we went with the united sewerage agency at that time we maintained our own uh, water and sewer what was your philosophy on on growth in sherwood at the time we had a mandate from the people not to allow any growth and sure was as far as industry or anything like that. And they had a string of rules that would, wouldn't quit. Who, who had a string of rules? Everybody in the council. They were informed as soon as you wound up on the council what their ideas were. And, uh, was there anyone on the council that wanted the town to grow? Not really. So they, they just wanted to keep the town the way it was? Yeah. They didn't want any large industries or anything like that, like the tannery and stuff. They didn't want that type of stuff anymore. So, uh, what? Well, uh, who? Yeah. It was about uh, 10 years later that they finally decided they were going to have to grow. In order were you on the council when that decision was made? Uh, I believe I believe I did go in for a second term. See, I remember. There was Norm Weishart was was on there. You were on there. Hartford was on there. Jack Harper was the mayor. Yep. Anyone I miss? Uh, Polly Blankenbaker was oh, yeah, city. She was, she was town recorder. And uh, Marge Stewart uh, was one of the people on the other side of the of, of the philosophy. She wanted the town to grow. I got a lot more uh, influence off of her. <laughs> How did you feel about the way things actually turned out? How do you feel right now about the way the town grew? Well, it had to happen eventually. It's just that uh, they wanted to keep it the way it was as long as they could. Could you describe what you liked most about the way it was? Yeah, you can walk down the street, you knew people, you, you didn't see any strangers in the night, you walk around. Now, when I first moved here, there was only 600 people in this town. Now what do you got? <laughs> it's it's almost, way past that. Almost 20,000. Um, was there anything that you remember outstanding on the council, any decision that you helped make that made made a difference historically? Uh, I don't know, but we made a lot of decisions. 
I know I got in a dining book with uh, some of the construction people when the sewerage uh, got to a point where they were down to just a few permits and some of the bigger outfits wanted them right then. Wasn't there a housing moratorium on Sherwood at that time? There was. So you've considered that a good thing, huh? Well, we weren't worried about housing. But the biggest problem was is that uh, you had maybe one or two little guys down here who were building one house, and you had a guy up here who was building 10 houses, and he wanted 10 permits. And I said, no way. And we argued back and forth, and I finally got up and said, look, this is the way it's going to be. And he shut up. And he came up afterwards, which is really a surprise. He came up afterwards. He says, I don't like your decision. But he says, it was the only damn fair one you could have had. He says, you want to run again? He says, I'll support you. Wow. <laughs> OK. I'll think of some more questions. You got anything else you'd like to say for the record? Not really. Okay, I'll turn it off for now.